Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to convert laggy 24 FPS video into smooth 60 FPS video. So let's get started. There are two ways to do this. The first way is by using After Effects inbuilt frame blending. This method is way faster to render but it's often less accurate. The second method is by using the paid Twixter plugin. This method is very accurate but it takes a long time to render. So right click your clip and select scene edit detection. Make sure you have split layer at scene edit selected and click ok. This may take a long time depending on the length of your clip or how fast your PC is. So now that our scene edit detection has finished analyzing, we need to manually correct it ourselves. While scene edit detection is normally very accurate, I selected a clip where it's not accurate so I can show you guys how to fix it. So if we zoom in on our clips by clicking the plus or minus keys on your keyboard, you can see this. These are actually one scene, but scene edit detection has detected them as multiple scenes. So, I'm just gonna extend this clip until here, and delete this over there. You need to manually check over all the other ones, but it's probably correct in my case, because this was the only very confusing scene here. So, now that we've finished analyzing the scene edit detection, we need to enable frame blending on all our clips by clicking and dragging up. We need to do this twice, so that this icon appears instead of the other one. So now once you've done that, we can zoom in on our clips. And if we play it back, we notice that there's this weird glitch. So, to fix it, select our clip and click O to go to the end of it and we can see this is what it looks like. By using the command and arrow keys, we can go back a few frames until we locate the where the glitch started, cut the clip by using Ctrl Shift D and disable frame blending. We can do that for this clip as well. You'll need to do this manually for every single clip. Now, the reason that I said this wasn't that accurate is in places like this, where scene edit detection can go like this. To fix these weird artifacts, we can either turn into this one, which will help it slightly, or we can use the second method. So now it's time to show you how to do the second method. So for the second method, we still have our scene edit detection, all of the clips cut up into different scenes, and we have to pre-compose every single scene. Make sure you have this selected instead of this, and select this as well. Pre-compose every scene by using Ctrl Shift C or Command Shift C on Mac and then click Enter or OK. You need to do this for every single scene. So now once you've done this, go over to the Effects and Presets panel and type Twixter. Drag on Twixter Pro onto your clip and copy my settings. Now, copy this effect by clicking Ctrl C or C Command C on Mac and Ctrl V to paste it on another one. You might also have to correct some glitches towards the end, such as this one here. You can do this with the same method as the last one. Go to the frame where the glitch started, cut it and delete the effect. You have to do this for all of them. Now here's why this one is way more accurate than the previous one. So that's it for today's video guys, thank you for watching.